Is there a question you receive you dislike getting asked? Something you can't stand to answer, perhaps. Maybe it's a repetitive question. You receive it all the time. Could be from fans or strangers asking you this. Uh, I'm not sure. You know what I'm saying? I don't get a lot of weird questions asked. They just be telling me when to drop and everything like that, you know, consistency and, you know. I really don't have a lot of backlash, you know, me having no death threats or nothing like that, you know, but everybody have haters. So. How do you handle that? Haters. What? Shit. I flex like shit on them. What can you, what can you say about me? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, nigga might need to go to the gym. I'm like, cool, 270. But shit, what else though? I'm 21. I own three three homes. I'm talking about own, not no rent, not no, oh, I want to make extra money to Airbnb. I'm talking about three homes in three major cities, and they all got four bedrooms plus. That's my name on it. You know what I'm saying? I got my family out the hood. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about immediate family. They don't live in the same place where we started at when I was recording in their basement in the studio or in their apartment building, so... Nah, uh, I'm, yeah. You can't say the same. You're, you're, let me put these down. Sean. You ever had fan on? Like, man, time? Well, nah, I. Never mind, never mind. I don't okay. Know. Yeah. I, I fuck with that, though. But, um,. May you repeat that one more time, please, if possible? Yeah, how do you deal with haters? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, <clears throat> I flex on them. Because it's like, you can't pull out more money than me. If you can, you know, it's like, well, how you can how you can hate on the next man that take care of his family? You mad because you can't? That you fucked up in the hood? That you in the same place? That you about to, you mad because you about to die where you started at? Half of your men dead around you? You about to die where you started at. That's that's the reason why you're mad. I, I didn't do nothing to nobody. So. Purposely flexing, though, on haters, could that be dangerous? Could that put you in some sort of predicament? Possibly, because you want to know why? I was the same way. So, I was the same exact way. I got, I said this to my own cousins before on some weirdo on some weirdo shit jokingly but they didn't take it as that you know what i'm saying shout out wood we really did did something behind this shit really shot shit up behind this shit but motherfucking it's like okay if i tell you boom this is when i fucked up still i'm like i got a band in my pocket you got three hundred dollars he like yeah can i get a you gotta teach me how to do this. You gotta put me on. You gotta get me with the music. But I'm like, nigga, you think I wanna see another man make it? I got this shit out the mud. I did this shit on my own. You wasn't here before, prior to, nigga. You think I wanna see you make it when I got out of the mud? That's the type of mindset that I had. Nigga, you got 20, you got, if we both went on the lick for $40, you got 20, I get 20. I want that 20, huh? You know what I'm saying? So came up from like, being fucked up, really hating, really looking, really praying on people downfall, and that shit wasn't it at all. Like, that shit was not it. That shit was so lame. That's because I was bitter, though, so I know how I feel to be a hater, because I was bitter at one point in time, and it once I have it and everything, you realize that, damn, I was a hater because I didn't have it. So that's how I know how they thinking. You know what I'm saying? So I was like... When was the transition for me for you when you went from hating on someone to being hated on? I don't know. Like you talking about as in year or like, you know what I'm saying? So for example, did you stop hating on people when you were gaining success? Was that what led to you personally stopping? No, hating? it wasn't like it was a longevity thing, like every nigga I see, I'm like, man, I hate this nigga, he don't got, like, no, of course, I'm the prime example of wanting to see the next man shine, but shit, if it's in front of me, like, bro, I used to do some fucked up shit, bro, you know what I'm saying? 
to everybody, and I'm going to keep it 100, nigga. I'm saying this live. You know what I'm saying? So I used to, not intentionally, though, I call my cousin, be on the phone with him. Hey, you know what I just did? I just took out a hundred racks. He just seen me yesterday, but he fucked up in the hood. You know what I'm saying? So I wasn't thinking about how that looked to from the outside looking in or, you know what I'm saying, from their point of view. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, that shit was, you know, I'm like, damn. And also, I just wasn't thinking right, bro. I wasn't doing the right shit at the time. So now that I know what I owe the mindset, I came from being home. I'm not going to lie. You know what I'm saying? I've been surrounded by that shit all of my life. Like, literally, in my house, whatever I had going on. But I'm not going to lie. I wasn't up a hundred racks off the trap and had 20 bands and buy this and that. I wasn't. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't. I was surrounded by it. Niggas was doing little shit, but I wasn't. Like, yeah, so I come from. Most I had in my pocket is probably a band off the trap from school and shit like that. And a band for a high school is a lot. Like, I can take a picture in the stairwell with the band, have all of the bitches like, ah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah, I just want to. Now, did someone ever pull you to the side and say, chill out with the flexing? Or was this just your own thinking? Uh... Hey, this is not what it is, or not a good look, or not not cool or lame as you describe. Was that your own self thought, or did someone pull you to the side and say, "Yo, this is lame"? Yo, chill that was out my own you. self thought. That's my own self thought. You know what I'm saying? It's like I don't know. It's my own self thought. Yeah, but people was telling me though, because I was popping my shit on my own folks as around me, like <laughs> go to L.A. Having fun, having this and that. And they like, yeah, we supposed to go. Nigga, I don't want to go there, nigga. I want to throw 30 racks in the strip club, nigga. You, you mad. Like, really popping my shit. I was a dumbass, you know what I'm saying? Like, and sometimes I believe both theories that money changed you and also the people around you because the people wouldn't react towards the way, bro. I had people that used to talk to me disrespectful. I had people that... Like, that didn't even treat me the same, nigga. That wasn't even... The niggas that I used to... When I was in the ninth grade, niggas used to, like, oh, yeah, I'm going to be with my cousin. I'm going to follow the 12th graders. I want to do this, do that. I want to be with the 11th graders. Doing a little bad shit. It's like, I was talking to them. Like, these are niggas that wouldn't even dap me up in school. Like, damn, bro. Y'all hang with my cousin. Shout out Petey. It really have a lot to do with my career. But y'all was hanging with my cousin. I just wanted to hang with y'all. But, you know what I'm saying? And that's these the same niggas that go to their colleges now. Fucked up. Can't pay student debt. Talking about some. Oh, yeah. I used to go to school with him. That's my little man. No, I wasn't, nigga. Fuck you. Fuck on my face. Hope you die. And what high school did you attend that you're referencing? Flowers. Went to Flowers High School. It's a cool little high school. You know what I'm saying? And how far did you get with it? Um, I was in Flowers from the ninth to uh, it's my eleventh grade year, and I was in between grades. And so I rode the janitor's moped in the school and shit like that. And then, um, yeah, I got incarcerated when I was about to, I think my last year of high school.